Someone from Star Wars is starving. Here's your look at the brand new Hasbro Star Wars The Mandalorian Galactic Snacking Grogu. Galactic Snacking Grogu animated toy comes with four interactive accessories, a bowl with tentacles, cookie, shifter knob, and spoon that when placed in his hand will react with animations and sound effects. The Star Wars Galactic Snacking Grogu animatronic figure stands over nine inches tall and features motorized movements including a head, ears, and arms that move and eyes that open and close. Just before we start some snacking, I'd like to first thank the folks over at Hasbro that did in fact provide the Star Wars Galactic Snacking Grogu that we could have a look at in this video. Galactic Snacking Grogu, by the way, is available right now in retail stores. In fact, just recently saw it at my local Toys R Us. Let's get things going by figuring out how tall Grogu stands. Putting the ruler as close to, I, to his head as I can get it, the figure stands 9 and 3 quarters of an inch tall or 24 and a half centimeters tall. Grogu comes included with an instruction booklet. Pretty straightforward, simple to read instructions, with the first step being installing the four AA batteries. Unfortunately, it doesn't come included with four AA batteries, but at least they're simple to find batteries and not button cell batteries that you have to track down. You do have to install the four. Down below, it shows you the on and off switch, which I'll show you myself. And it also shows you how to operate his interactive features, how to also include the objects that he comes included with that all attach the inside of his palm. All of which, again, we're going to have a look at. And you can also feed him as well with the included spoon, too. Speaking of the accessories he comes included with, starting first, he comes with a bowl of tentacles. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? The accessories are generally all hollow. This one, actually, you can remove if you want to have an empty bowl instead. I kind of like the idea of having the tentacles swimming around in what seems to be spicy mustard. Uh, generally quite light, and all of them have a little connecting tab that plugs into the inside palm, that hand right there. I'll show you guys that in a second. Each one of these somehow interact as well that give him different ways and different animatronic features. The figure also comes included with a spoon. Nicely sculpted the spoon is that it does look like wood, a plastic wood spoon, yes. It does also have the connecting tab that's going to plug in again to the same side hand. You can also take the spoon, num 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 num, and you can also feed baby Grogu with that as well. The figure also comes included with a cookie. It's still hollow, unfortunately, on the bottom. I wish that they could have actually finished the mold completely. It's generally quite light. Kind of looks like a bit of a macaroon, doesn't it? Or almost like a discolored cheeseburger. Still has, again, that connecting tab that works the same way. But again, each one of these somehow interact differently with the Grip Baby Grogu. The last thing he comes also included as well with is a shifter knob. Again, it's hollow plastic. And it gives you sort of a translucent or clear plastic tab on the side. It may almost look like it's levitating. Again, I'll show you guys that also in a second as well. To show you where the battery compartment is, we're going to lift him up. He's got some weight going for him. On the underside, you can see just rolling up the rope here, there's a little screw compartment I've already unscrewed and put in the necessary 4 AA batteries. You can see they've also sculpted in some nice feet there as well. On the back, there's the on and off switch. There doesn't seem to be a try me, which is sometimes usually something what they do, but because considering as well that they don't put batteries in in the first place, probably would make no then no sense to really have a try me option so there's an off there's an on right now it's currently set for off before we actually turn this on i want to quickly show you guys what it looks like it's an adorable little guy love the sculpting that they put not only into his face there's a lot of real personality going for him and it'll become even more even more personality when we actually turn this on but the, the ears do move the mouth does open and the head does shift back and forth the ears are generally a softer rubbery more like material I guess less likely to poke yourself if you're running around with baby Grogu. Some nice sculpted little tiny hairs on the top of its head. You can see a seam line where they sort of sandwich together the two two parts of the head. Other than that, though, it looks really quite finished on the on the front side of it. And certainly as it goes for an animatronic, I was surprised how much it could actually do for the price point that they were offering this for. The robe itself is a softer material that they put over top of his harder body. You can see his harder arms, arms underneath. Everything is, again, animatronic, including the hands themselves. He has a nice little furry collar that has matching furry cuffs on the ends of his sleeves as well. Again, if you want to see what it looks like on the underside, let's just kind of roll things up quickly here for a second. You can see there's the speaker compartment that will, again, project out the audio. Not really much going on on the backside here other than just, again, the on and off switch. So, that being said, let's switch this on 
and we're going to just put them down here for a second. Now, you can simply just start cycling through the different animatronics by pressing his head down once. Now, right now, he's looking for a hug. Hold off there, Grogu. I'll give you a hug in a second. But you can see how the eyes open and close, how the head tilts back, how the even the arms kind of extend themselves up looking for a hug. And it looks like he also burped there as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to take each of the items, all the things we just finished having a look at, and we're going to plug them into his hand. I'm going to start. Hold on a second there. I know, I know. We're going to start things off first with the thing we first had a look at, the little bowl of tentacles. To attach it into his hand, now when you're looking at his hands, this hand here doesn't do anything. It's this hand here that does all the work. You're going to then take any one of the objects and slot it inside. And when you slot them inside, you can see he starts interacting with the objects that get placed in his palm. Again, you can also press down his head. You can also leave it as well, and he'll cycle through different animatronics. To change that out, we can go ahead, just pop that out. And let's replace it with maybe, maybe we'll put in what looks to be the moldy hamburger. It's not really a hamburger, it's a cookie. We'll slot that into his hand as well. And whereas before, when we had a look at the soup, he was making that slurping sound with the soup. When you actually do put in the cookie, for example, it's going to sound like he's actually chewing away at the cookie. It's just absolutely adorable. Next thing we'll do is we'll grab the spoon, again, the wooden spoon, and we'll slot it in the exact same way. The spoon is a little harder to get into his hand just by the way he has to get it around his fingers. And just plug that into place. The spoon should interact. Let me just make sure I've got it. Oh, there we go. There we go. I didn't have the spoon in completely all the way. What you can also do with the spoon, too, is you can remove it from his hand and you can put it towards his mouth. And it actually looks like he's slurping the liquid off of the spoon. The last thing we can have a look at is the levitating knob here. We can go ahead and then put that into his hand the exact same way as we did before. Let's see if he actually will do something here. The other thing that you can also do too, going back to, there we go. Sometimes it does take a little bit longer here. One thing you can also do as well, going back to the idea of pushing down his head once, instead of pushing it down, his head down once, push it down three times. We'll wait until he finishes his animatronic. There we go. Push his head down three times. One, two, three. And he does a Jedi trick or uses his Jedi powers. I think that's really cool the way they do that. Again, really considering for how much stuff goes on with this guy, he has different interactions based on the things that attach differently into his hands. And really considering for the fact that they put a lot of detail and for the fact he has moves as much as he does, the Galactic Snacking Grogu is a great pickup to have, especially if you're a big fan of The Mandalorian and you're a big fan of Baby Yoda long before we even found out his name was Baby Grogu. While Baby Grogu here sits and eats away at his cookie, one thing I can also tell you is that Galactic Snacking Grogu is available in retail stores. Toys R Us, for example, has it advertised at $120. Considering for the fact of how much moves actually on this guy, like his ears, like his head, like his eyes, his mouth, and even his hands, and the fact he does also interact with four different accessories, I think for the price point, he really is a nice-looking Grogu and will definitely go well on the shelf. A big thank you again to the folks over at Hasbro that did in fact provide the sample of the Galactic Snacking Grogu that we could have a look at here on this channel. Have you picked this one up yet for yourself? If you haven't, is this something you would like to add to your collection based on this review? As he continues to eat away as his cookie. Nom, 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 nom. Hey now, if you guys are new to this channel, you're enjoying the content you're seeing, you can do a couple things for yourself. First of which, you can hit that subscribe button down below. Second of which, you can turn on the bell notification so you get those friendly reminders whenever new videos are going to be popping up. And of course, making sure you're coming back to this channel. Because while we have wrapped up things for Galactic Snacking Grogu, is he finished eating? He might actually be finished eating. While we have wrapped up things, yes, certainly for Grogu for the time being, 
I'm sure there probably will be some more Grogu reviews, as well as some other Star Wars stuff coming your way, also from the folks over at Hasbro. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.